Excellent. Welcome, Tina, once again on this uh, Microsoft 365 feature demo show. Um, and we're talking about uh, SharePoint's awesome SharePoint portal features again within the show. It's awesome to have you back here. Now, Tina, um, can you do a quick intro to who you are before we go to the actual feature? No problem. Hi, Lisa, and hi, everyone. Tina's here again. So I'm Tina. I'm currently working on the SharePoint Experience PM team, and I'm based in China. Uh, I've been working on different uh, features on SharePoint, and today I'm going to help my colleague to talking about a new exciting feature to, to all of you. Yeah. Cool. Um, and, and Tina is in a China team, uh, as you were mentioning. We are actually global. Obviously, Microsoft has global development centers everywhere. But there's a lot of cool custom portal, and not portal stuff, a SharePoint portal, custom portal capabilities, features coming right now uh, from your team. So thank you. Thank you for great work on that. Now, um, today, we kind of, of course, the key topic on the ecosystem is AI and Copilot and the Copilot integrations that we've seen in Ignite and all of the conferences. So what is the new thing that we're going to talk about today? Yeah, I think last time we we're talking about how to make the page looks more stunning. It's more focusing on the look and feel part. But today I'm going to talk about this new feature called uh, SharePoint Write for Copilot. That's going to help you to generate more high quality content. So yeah. today we have shift our focus more on the content of your page. Yeah. And, if, and of course, it's it's the combination of things. So beautiful looking portals, but then the content absolutely 100% matters. So it's not just the sparkles, sparkle things and pictures. So content is king, uh, as we used to say. Now, uh, I think the easiest way to know uh, what are we talking here is probably go to the live directly to the live demo. But we are kind of tapping into the same thinking as with PowerPoint and Word and every single Office application um, that you can use the Copilot to help you to be productive, more productive. And, and help you to be more maybe precise on your intent. Mm -hmm. What are you planning to say for the audience? But let's actually jump on the demo. So uh, it's easier to probably see that. So let's let me flip to the demo mode, and Tina can actually show how this works in practice. Yeah, I've created a page to introduce this new feature. And here you can see we tr um, whenever you're working on uh, an update, an announcement, or you're writing an article on the SharePoint page, now without going into other AI tool within the SharePoint, you can tr you, you can now to make sure your content is more uh, accurate and there's no grammar issues just like effort, really in an effortless way yeah yeah and how does that work in practice how do i how do i the, now do, you you can write the default text there or a starting point and then we can take the copilot into use within the text right yeah as mentioned uh, here, so this is available in the text web part. So here I've already prepared an example. So once you add uh, a text web part and input the content you want, and here you can see this Copilot icon uh, on the tour on the toolbar here. So you can just right click on that. Uh, let's give an example of this thinking about I'm writing a product update uh, post here. So I create a draft here already. And let's see, because this is a new product launch, I probably want to make sure um, everything is good for the public audience. Uh, as you know, I'm not a native English speaker, so I just want to make sure first uh, everything is good in terms of grammar spelling. So I will use the auto rewrite, and it's generating the draft for me. Wow! Now you can see uh, Copilot offers me three options. And it actually shows you three different options. This is actually really cool. So it's a, it's not just a a this is how I would do that. It would it's offering multiple options to choose from. That's actually really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And which one you prefer, Visa? <laughs> Uh, everybody starts with we are thrilled. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, this is actually really good. Let's have the second one. This is yeah. Let's, do let's go one. with the second one. So we just 
uh, go with replace it. Yeah, everything polished. Okay, uh, and also we have more advanced settings here as well. So speaking of this, what in for the next section we have. Uh, the introduction for the four features. Maybe it looks too much detail. So uh, let's say if I want to make it more uh, concise. So let's try this. And this is a just kind of a reminder, everybody. So Copilot is there not to take your job or not to reduce your value. It is actually making you more efficient. Uh, so it's helping you without, uh, you know, uh, it's your text, but it's adjusting that to be based on the instructions, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so now it's basically making that more consensed. Yeah, exactly. Nice. And if I'm not happy with this one, I can also use the regenerate to get cool. the option four. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so here, are we good with option four? Yep. Looking really yeah. nice. And also, you can see here we can provide the thumbs up uh, or the thumbs down to provide the feedback to the team to make sure uh, the model is more. Uh, yeah, we can share just uh, provide our feedback by clicking on that. So yep. I will skip and this one. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and please do that. One. Always remember to provide feedback, right? Yeah. <laughs> and here we can see uh, we, last time we tried to use the replace and this time we can try the insert below. Yeah. And we can also refresh that a little bit. Yeah. So now we that's, delete that's a nice feature as well. So don't we, mm -hmm. we don't necessarily over uh, replace that like you were saying. That's actually really nice. So you can see them side by side. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah, exactly. And here, like for the ending part, um maybe we want to change the tone a little bit uh which one you want to try now we have five different options to make it sounds more professional uh much more casual or we want to uh bring in some excitement here by using the enthusiastic or we try to make it more creative Engaging is always good. So let's stop uh, all of these announcements with excitement and energy uh, so that's mm -hmm. important. Yeah, let's try this one. I also like how it's in line within the text, so that makes it super easy. So it's it's not a separate, uh, you know, panel or anything like that. So you can really easily see what are you working on. So really cool. Yeah, exactly. And also, you know, you can do the multiple sections together. Let's say I yep. want to make it longer. Okay, so for this one, you can also uh, to have the advanced uh, adjustment here as well. Yep, yep, yep. That's really nice. So you can and, further and adjust and adjust. That's really cool. This is nice. Yeah. Really nice. And another thing I really like, you see here, I use some emoji, right? Uh, let's see what happens if I try to change this one. Now you can see it still keep your emoji here. So this is good. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't but... remove if, if you prefer to use emojis, which I do, uh, because I, I think they're a great way of exposing, you know, energy yeah. and, and, and impact. But it doesn't change them. Uh, so it keeps them in. That's right. That's a nice feature as well. Really cool. OK, so let's use replace here. Yeah. Uh, so that's Basically, all we have for the uh, rewrite for Copilot in SharePoint. Cool. Any this questions? is really, really cool. Now, and now the, the kind of a one question. I know that we have a blog post with and, and features and documentation, which is explaining a lot of the questions. But the number one question always comes is about the languages. So is this only supporting English, or is it supporting multiple other languages as well? Yeah, actually, I support multiple languages. Uh, as we mentioned in the blog, in the under the FAQ part, uh, all the languages are supported by Copilot. In other services, will be also supported by this feature as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, and again, just to recap there, the Microsoft 365 Copilot is the same Microsoft 365 Copilot regardless where you're accessing that. And then the, all of the languages and baseline capabilities are exactly the same, regardless are you using that in here or in Word or in PowerPoint or in Teams or in MChat or where, whatever you're using that. So the same language capabilities and features are available in here as well. It's awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Cool, cool. And uh, now, as you're calling out on the on the on the, the the page as well, so the feedback is important. Please use thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, so we understand uh, how, how is it working. We are able to use that information to adjust also uh, the behavior. Um, so super, super important to get that one uh, out uh, or collected from our side as well. We're building all of these features for our customers, so it's super important that everybody can share their feedback. Yeah. And then, and then uh, on the coming coming soon section, um, there's free prompt and also grounded files such as Word, PowerPoint, and loop pages. I will actually get us back on the discussion, the the kind of a talking head mode. Um, but what does those mean? Uh, so what does the what are what are those new things which are coming into program? Yeah. So for now, uh, as we are using the feature, we must have a draft here so that the copilot can adjust that based on the draft you provided, right? But thinking about like, I want the copilot to help me to authoring those kind of contents by just give uh, the copilot some prompt, the keywords, the things. Thinking about, I'm going to prepare for a team role a invite yep. for the team. I want to have this kind of uh, news post drafted so I can co work with Copilot together by inputting just a few prompts. So, this yep. is the first one. And the second one is that thinking about I have a doc recommend, uh, sorry, I have a, a PowerPoint deck already. So, I can ask the Copilot to uh, leverage this PowerPoint as the grounding data to help me to draft the. Uh, something like a newsletter to capture the key information in this PowerPoint deck. Uh, so yep. this is the second thing we're trying to work on. Really cool. Uh, both are great features and, and definitely uh, great advantages or great, great new uh, capabilities as well. Um, so awesome stuff. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tina. And thank you for the for the great team uh, in China. This is really, really cool and uh, the same practice. Um, any any last words from your side? Uh, any encouragements, uh, usage, ideas, uh, future features? Uh, anything that comes to mind? Yeah, actually, the holiday season is coming, but the work <laughs> has never stopped. So there are a lot of new things on our roadmap to help you to in, uh, both have the content to be really high quality and also make your page even more stunning. So yeah. stay in touch and. Stay well, tuned. Well, like yes. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We'll get Tina back on the show, and uh, definitely as we get new features uh, rolling out internally, we know a lot of lot of cool stuff. It's already in the pipeline, which we cannot share. Uh, but we'll we'll get uh, more, more videos and blog posts and announcements out uh, definitely as the time is right. But thank you, Tina. Uh, thank you, everybody who's watching. Uh, uh, we do have an associated blog post with this one, uh, and also documentation available. So please, please, please check the the video notes for any additional details, and please keep the feedback coming, super, super important. We're building all of these features uh, for you as an end users and customers and partners. So it's super critical for us to know what we like, to, like about them. But thank you, Tina, for joining on the show. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Bye. Cheers, bye-bye.